Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. All right. Overall, I do feel, Scorpio, that you are going to be well indecisive. Now, there could be a lot of planning. <clears throat> a lot of planning. You can, can you are in a very confident state of mind. But there is a situation that is going to be presented to you in the overall month of November where you're going to have to make a choice. Okay. This way, that way. In or out. Okay. Yes or no. Something like that. Maybe you're going to be presented with two options. Okay. Maybe you're going to be uh, with two people or probably just an option and making a decision about one person anything okay but overall there's going to be like this decision making in the overall month of november queen of pentacles with the first 10 days of november so this is telling me that you're going to be very very um practical stable calm um very very focused on uh, probably some of you could be deciding and choosing to get married maybe some of you would want to be committed or maybe some of you will get committed something like that out here but overall you're going to be very organized very structured focused on the material things of life okay but very settled you know very practical energy out here caring nurturing okay for everyone out here but overall it's a very grounded energy okay um maybe you would be like i said we would be wanting um uh, to get married or someone would be wanting to spend their life with you okay but it's a very positive card out here let's see what's the queen of pentacles <coughs> what's the queen of pentacles here? very practical and realistic card what's the queen of pentacles here? ten of wands okay we have two cards i didn't see that ten of wands with the five of swords here so it looks like you are going to be very practical and very realistic about ending a burden okay or ending a situation that has become too much of a burden too much of a stress you know uh, something that uh, probably even ending responsibilities okay maybe you are starting to delegate responsibilities or maybe this is just an ending okay of a uh, of a problematic situation here okay which was very stressful very challenging here could be you just ending a death situation here and walking away from any kind of conflicts okay that you were facing with this so i'm feeling that you are walking away from a lot of negative communication or just walking away from people who play a lot of mind games from you or just overall walking away okay and just um giving up okay getting into that feeling of feeling defeated surrendered okay but you just feel that you're fighting with someone or you're in a situation which is a losing game all right and uh you're just keeping yourself away and stepping back from any kind of um uh i'd say mind games basically yeah any kind of conflicts okay um you could feel that you need to walk away from someone here because you feel someone here does not have your uh their best uh your <coughs> they don't have their best your best interest in mind okay and uh you could be walking away from this person out here is also what i'm getting here okay but there's definitely giving up of a situation where you feel things were not being fair or someone was just trying to constantly one up with you okay but whatever the situation is this is someone here where you, things was just getting too much okay it was just getting too much could be a marriage that you feel was getting too much for you and you're like you know what i can't do this anymore or maybe you would want commitment with someone here but you just feel that you've been doing all the work out here and you're getting nothing out of this person back so you need to walk away all right the middle 10 days of november high priestess your intuition is going to be heightened babe you could be getting a lot of uh, psychic messages you could be getting a lot of messages from the universe so keep your intuition on point don't trust your logic don't trust your emotions keep your um, your gut feeling okay your instincts is what you can rely on for the middle 10 days of november what's the high priestess here there's a lot that's being felt but not said is what i'm getting the high priestess is a very smart person okay this is someone here who is very very controlled with their emotions okay so i do feel here that this could be a secret love affair for a few of you there's something which has been kept a secret here but whoever this whatever this is the approach is being very mature very patient okay things are yet to be revealed but there's a lot of well controlled emotions over all this situation here what's the high priestess here what's the high priestess here for the middle ten days of november helmet yeah so i feel that there could be a situation here okay could be to do with the king of wands could be to do with someone who you're very passionate about or could be a decision where you want to think about whether you want to take action or take a risk towards someone here whatever that situation is going to be with a high priestess and the hermit here this is telling me that there's a lot of thinking 
a lot of thinking, using your intuition, using your wisdom, probably taking psychic guidance from the universe, probably uh, speaking to elders, okay, or probably just taking guidance from people who you feel are wise. But this is a lot of self-introspection, okay. Try to uh, throw light, shed light on something that you probably feel um, uh, you need guidance on. You could be feeling very lonely, all right, but uh, this is something that you need. I feel you need to feel to withdraw yourself. So there's going to be a lot of contemplating about things, okay, a lot of things. But you're going to go within and try and find out a lot of answers instead of going out, okay. But it's a very lonely energy, okay. But I do feel you're trying to get some answers here. This is a good thing to do, okay, as long as you uh, get back, switch back to reality the moment you get your answers. Because with the hermit here, if you tend to isolate yourself too much, it can get a very, it can become a very lonely place. You tend to become very, very antisocial and then you start to disconnect from reality. So just, just, just keep that in mind, all right? I do feel that there could be someone from the past coming back towards you. I don't know why. There was an ending here, okay, but I do feel someone wants to pass, wants to come back towards you. All right, the last 10 days of November, four of wands here. This is stability. This is security. This is wanting to get married or um, someone, uh, maybe you're thinking of getting married. But overall, the four of wands is a card of celebration, okay? It's a card of reunion here. It's the card of uh, probably uh, two twin flames coming together or whatever. What's the four of wands here? Let's see. However, it's a very stable and settled energy. What's the four of wands here? Four of wands here. You could either be meeting an ex here. Okay. What's the four of wands here? But it's a lot of surprises, stability, commitment. Nine of wands here. Okay. So I feel that there could be a wish come true for you. Okay. But uh, which is going to lead to something which is going to make you very, very happy. But with the nine of wands here, you're still going to be guarded. I feel that even though the opportunity here of you getting what you want is coming in, right? You're still going to be very guarded because you probably don't trust it. Which is why I said that there could be a past person here coming towards you, but there could be a reunion here. But maybe you're just very guarded. Very guarded. What's, give me one more card. Let's clarify this more. What's the nine of wands? Actually, give me with the four of wands. What's the four of wands? Give me one more card for the four of wands. What is this four of wands about? What's the four of wands about? Just four. Four of wands. <laughs> so there is a past person back coming back towards you who would want a reconciliation. Didn't I tell you that? The four of wands is definitely telling me that there is a reunion here, okay? Someone from the past here who probably wants to offer you something stable, secure here. They want a reconciliation with you. They're coming back around here. But the problem here is you're guarded because you don't trust their intentions. Okay, so this is someone sneaky who's very on and off, in and out, in and out of your life here. You could be wanting something stable, something committed with this person here. The moment you talk about commitment, boom, this person's out of your life. Then they miss you, they're back again. So it's like a repetitive cycle here. So they're coming back here, okay, wanting to offer you something stable. You're going to be very happy, uh, happy, content, okay. It's going to be like a very happy family life or just wanting to settle down. Maybe that's what they're coming for. But there is a reunion here of someone who tried to walk away from you or who was very sneaky and very deceptive here. But you are very, very good. It so that's what's gonna happen. They're coming back around, and I feel honestly, I feel with the high priestess and the hermit here, I feel that this person out here, you know, they're coming back. It's like you already knew that they were gonna come back here, which is why you're like in that uh, energy where I'm just like kind of lonely and I'm just gonna be on my own. I, I, I don't want this right now. But yeah, I do feel that intuitively you know that they're coming back. Give me one more card for the High Priestess here. What's the High Priestess? High Priestess? Two of Wands. One more card for the High Priestess. Hmm. See? You're trusting your intuition about making a decision or making a choice about something. Okay? Uh, maybe you want forward movement. Maybe you want progress here. So someone probably comes to you with a decision here, but you're going to have to trust your intuition, okay? You're going to have to trust your choice. You're going to have to trust because the consequences you're going to have to bear. Whatever this is, this is the literally choosing a new direction, okay? And taking a risk and going the other way here. But it's going to be up to you because I feel that you need, want to have a lot of more information about before you get into this is what I'm getting, okay? So that's what I have for Scorpio, but there is someone here coming back to you, all right, from the past. 